good morning. We are on our way to the gas station. In the early morning before I head to the farm, I stop by the gas station, I get myself a dollar coffee, and I sit there for however long I feel like I have, and I write. It seems to be the best way to be able to stay focused, you know, the farm, you get distracted with all the stuff there is to do. So it gives me a little bit of quiet time in the car to write for the Patreon and photo edit and whatever it is I need to do. And their coffee's pretty good. It's 31 degrees, not quite as cold as yesterday, 19. But we'll see what it is when we get to the farm. It tends to be uh, colder at the farm because we're close to the mountains. I wonder, I wonder what it looks like through the windshield. The windshield windshield needs to be replaced pretty badly, so it'll be interesting to look back at the footage and see what you guys are seeing. Um, I forgot my hat. I always wear my hat. I forgot my hat this morning, so you could say my morning's getting off to a little bit of a rough start, but we'll get some coffee and it'll get better. Well, we spent an hour right in the gas station parking lot. Got a good bit done on the next article for Patreon. Most of the writing is complete. I've just got a couple sections left. And then I still have to, it'll still take a couple days, we still have to get the photos and videos fixed up for it and create the advertising posts for Facebook and Instagram. So it still takes a hot second, but that feels good to be close. So I've been working on, things have come up, you know, other posts I've wanted to do. So I've been working on this particular one forever. And quite frankly, I'm tired of looking at it. So that'll be good. Um, it's down to 29 now. So that's, it was 28, but 29 now, so that's a couple degrees cooler than town, which we're at the foot of the, I don't know if you can see them, the mountains, so it uh, generally is colder. I'm still fussy over not having my hat, so it's just going to, I feel naked, you know, my head is naked, so that's no good. Not totally sure what the agenda for the day is. I know, I need to get my rehab boys trimmed. We have some fencing projects we want to work on. We've got trailer lights to replace at some point, and I'm sure that'll get put off. So, and, and honestly, you know, I, I show up to the farm with one idea, I see Lauren, and suddenly, you know, it's a totally different plan. So, I have no clue. We'll just see where the day takes us. But, I got the puppies in the back. We all got a little cold at the gas station because... I don't generally like to idle my vehicles too long anyway, you know, because miles are one thing, but idle hours are another. Um, but it was cold, and I'm low on fuel, and that gas station is one of those where, like, regular just keeps on going down, and yet diesel stays the same. So, I don't get fuel there, because there's another gas station where diesel has actually gone down. And I'd rather get fuel there, but, you know, that would have meant driving over there and not having as much time to write. So, I just opted to turn the car off and sit and freeze while I wrote, but I'll have to get fuel at some point. Alright, well, we are almost here. Get in and get the feed loaded and get everybody fed. I'm sure they'll be excited to see me. Well, excited to see the food. see my deer? I have many. And I just, I, I just love seeing them. Don't love when they, you know, like pop out of the woods and try to jump in front of the car. Or like, you know, they jump through my fencing and destroy it with like, you know, they think they're really talented, but they're not always with their, you know, athleticism. But I do, I do love seeing them. And I don't allow hunting. So as long as they stay here, they're pretty safe. Every now and again, we have hunters try to come on, but we say, you have got to leave. Uh, the old people who owned the farm before us, they used to allow hunting, so it's been a little bit of a um, curve to try to, you know, convince the locals that we are not the old owners. I'm sorry. You know, I've got horses here. I don't want We cannot have you shooting near my horses because I just don't always trust that, you know, people are going to be able to distinguish a deer from a horse. And, um, just because of things that have happened locally, you know? So, there's the rehab boys all warm in their jackets. And then, it's probably too late, but there's my guys down there. All right. Beat me down here this morning, you guys. 
Eva's hanging back like a good girl should. Okay. Blue is grounded for drinking Lauren's coffee, so she gets tied in the back for a month. Come on, guys. Oh, big stretch. Oh, big stretch. Sit. Sit. Thank you. That's a face. <laughs> oh, heck yeah, one-handed. Okay, yeah, we're coming over here, Miss Face. Your bag. On my arm first, but Beauty's getting fed first because she has a better face. No. Back up. Yeah, you don't need to push on me. Sorry. Oh, that's Eva's bag. There we go. It's because I don't have my hat on. Things are rough. Hang on, Eva. Oh, wow. He's beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Woohoo! Wow. He's funny.
I'm gonna get the rehab horses trimmed. Do some laser on both of them. Some equitape for Tripper's shoulder. So, have fun watching that. So this is Tripper, APHA, 21 years old. He came for a navicular rehab. Yeah, hi Tripper. And his feet are looking a lot better. I'm gonna trim him. He, now we're working on a uh, shoulder injury that he sustained probably 10 years ago. And he sort of hid. He was so locked down through his shoulders, just tight, 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 that you couldn't, you didn't know. So through acupuncture, we've gotten the shoulders really just a lot softer. This wasn't, you couldn't do that before. Um, and with that has come what I like to call in peeling of the onion. And now he's shown us that his shoulder hurts. So we're working with the vet through that to see if we can get that going better for him. It's tough because it's an old injury his owner told us about. Um, but past that, looking a lot better than he did. I discuss uh, in a little bit more detail his shoulder and the acupuncture and kind of that developing case on the Patreon. So if you're not part of it, you should be. Um, I mean, of course, I'll say that, but it supports a really good cause and a lot of cool information on there. All right, get to work.
And this is Cruz. He's a 21 also, I think. I think they're the same age. 21-year-old thoroughbred Welsh cross. And he is here for a um, tendon injury. Though, if he hadn't blown the tendon, torn the tendon, um, he would have been here for navicular. Because his feet were super long toe, under run heel, contracted. I mean, his feet are the reason why he's got the tendon injury. And he's had several over the last six years. So this most recent one, she decided, his owner decided, something has to change. And change it has. Yes. Yes, it has. Are you ready, buddy? I think he's ready. Running real good. Lauren is going to a retirement party with my dad uh, for a co-worker of his. And so I am here to take care of everybody by myself tonight. So usually how we do it is she takes care of all the upstairs, what we call them, 
because we have horses. So we, we have the hill, the barn down low. And so all those horses up at the bottom of that hill are the downstairs horses. And all the horses at the top of the hill are the upstairs horses. So she takes care of all the upstairs horses um, morning and night. And I do the downstairs horses. And so tonight I get to visit everybody. And so that'll be, that'll be fun to take you around. But, yeah, she got to get all dressed up. Which just doesn't happen all that much for us. So hopefully she has a good time. It'll be fun to check in on the rehabs and after their trims and see their new boots. See if their boots are staying on good. But we've got the um, Easy Care Fury Sling. I think there's a Fury Heart and a Fury Sling. And um, I like to shake the Fury Sling better. I like the boots a lot. Not sponsored. I know, surprising, with, you know, 60 views and a whole 30 subscribers, it's amazing. I do not know why Easy Care is not sponsoring me yet, but not sponsored, not paid to say that. They're just really adjustable boots. You'll see in uh, some of the time lapse, I was adjusting boots and building. It looked like I was building boots for Cruise, for Tripper. I think it was for Tripper. And um, I did it for both of them, but I think I record Tripper. And that is just so neat. So a lot of times, you know, boots are one way. So if you have a horse who's high low or you have a rehab horse who's maybe going from low to normal, um, really changing angle, the boots won't fit. Or on your high low horse, the boot might fit one foot, but not the other. And different boots are made, you know, some are more for more upright feet, others are for lower feet, but you know, to get, when you have two different feet, and so these boots, you can adjust and you can set to fit the angle. And so then as the angle changes, you can adjust them to fit the changing angle. And I love that. I absolutely love that. Tripper is oh, less than he was, but a tripper's a little high-low. So it's great to be able to adjust it. Um, I like that a whole lot. It takes a little bit of doing, you know, at first, but that is pretty cool. Also, something I felt like I needed to mention is I was fussing about not having my hat this morning. And if you can see, I'm wearing a hat. This is not my hat. Well, it might be now. My sister is doing a closet clean out. And lo and behold, she had a wonderful black hat um, in the pile of stuff she's wanting to get rid of. I don't know who would get rid of a wonderful black hat, but she is. So I've got a hat. I was right though, I was right. Not having my hat definitely sort of derailed the day. And unfortunately, good coffee didn't necessarily fix it. Probably because my good gas station has been out of sugar-free vanilla coffee syrup for like four days now. And it's been out of half and half. They have got the push button kind, half and half. It's been out of that for like three days. So it's okay, I carry my own sugar-free coffee syrup in my car, but I don't carry half and half in my car. So I've been opening 20 little, you know, the, whatever you call those. And, um, I don't know, they better get some, you know, their shipment of half and half in soon or else I'm gonna use it all. And what do I do when they don't have, even have the little ones? I guess I'll be going to, uh, instead of writing, I'll be going to the grocery store at six in the morning and uh, picking up car hat. I don't know. It just won't. You, you can't just leave it in the car. Like, you can leave, you know, the syrup. So. But definitely derailed the day a little bit. This is Butte. I don't generally use it, but I have a uh, mid-30 draft horse, Jill. And um, she, we knew the end was nearing, but in the last, like, three days, Jill has said, like, the end is now. And so we called the vet when the end was not so much now, but really soon yesterday. So we called the vet this morning to say, hey, we need an appointment. We don't think it's an emergency yet. So they scheduled us for next Friday. That's their soonest appointment. And today, Jill said, the end is now. So what we're gonna try to do to avoid, you know, having to try to get the vet out for an emergency call, we're going to really hit her with some view. And I don't like doing it because for the amount she really needs, it's gonna tear her stomach up. But if 
it can help her have an okay last week. So the vet doesn't need to try to squeeze us in. She's not suffering for the next week. Then I'm gonna do it, but we'll see. I'm not sure. Not sure if this is gonna, this is gonna do it for her or not, but we'll see. We will see. Give her, give her a shot. I might be bothering the vet anyway. But you do what's best for them. Up until the end, she's, we don't have an exact age on her because we got her from the guy who used to own the property. And by the time, you know, we met him and whatever, he was quite older and I'm not sure if what he told us was right. It definitely puts her in her 30s, but we don't know if, um, we don't know exactly where, you know, is she 32? Is she 35? We're not sure. Um, and actually now I guess it would be probably, is she 35? Is she 37? We don't know. All right, all mixed up. Hopefully she eats it. Hopefully she's still up and doing all right. Time to go. Boys are eating, wearing their new boots. All nice and adjusted, aren't they slick? I like these boots a lot. Look like they're staying on good. Tripper is wearing his in his private accommodations away from crews. We've got the rain sheets on since it's supposed to rain and get cold tonight. And buddy, I am losing daylight fast. Didn't expect it to happen quite this fast. Uh, better get back to it. Got to get Dixon Jill fed. Let's see. Here's the pups, they're helping. All right. 